Where's Lindsay? I would like to see her. <sighs> she insisted on coming down here. Lindsay's being questioned. The secret you killed for has come out anyway, Lindsay. I know that Tommy is Todd Manning's son. Look, I admire your devotion. But you can't protect them anymore, so you might as well just tell me. How long have you known Tommy's Todd's son? Why can we see Lindsay? Of course. She's still being questioned. By John, Nora. Marcy. What? The man has arrested half of Lambview for killing Spencer Truman. Okay, Marcy. Does anybody else, does anybody else here have a problem with the fact that he has hijacked this department for his own personal grudge fest? Nora, listen, I am really sorry, but you have to understand. No, no, Michael, do not, please. Okay, don't stand here and apologize for me. John went after you. He went after his own brother. And when that didn't work out, he came after me. And now he's going after Lindsay. Marcy. If you don't calm down, you're going to have to leave the building. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving without the best woman that I know. The secret you killed for has come out anyway. I know Tommy is really Todd Manning's son. You can't protect them anymore. So why don't you just tell me everything? How long have you known Tommy's Manning's son? I never said anything of the kind. You didn't deny it either. Just say it. You know Tommy is Todd Manning's son. And you don't want that coming out any more than I do. Does Lindsay even have a lawyer in there with her? Lindsay is very aware of her rights. So in other words, that would be a no. Marcy, honey. You really have to calm down. Calm down? You want me to calm down? Yeah. Michael, the only woman who has ever been a mother to me was just publicly humiliated and arrested for a murder that she didn't commit. But you want me to calm down? Look, I'll, uh, I'll call you as soon as we have something to report. Goodbye. This is no good, Bo. Yeah, you can say that again. I, I mean, what the hell? Lindsay killed Spencer. They barely knew each other. It Balsam, you know that this is an ongoing, ongoing investigation. investigation. Yeah, I know. You can't talk about it, yada, yada. Pardon my French. It's a bunch of crap. Okay, I'm sorry, but this is Lindsay we're talking about. I care about her, and I know you do too. You can't believe she killed Spencer. I understand, Marcy. You and Lindsay were very close. Yeah, I understand too, Nora. I understand that you hate Lindsay's guts. Marcy? Fine. Look, Lindsay and I, we've been there for each other. You know, there's some of the worst things you can imagine. I am not about to turn my back on her right now. You know what, Marcy? I think that's wonderful. I really do. But you've got to respect the room full of men and women in here who are trying to do their job. And what is that job, Nora? Railroading people? OK, you're close, Marcy. You're really close. Marcy, honey. I'm sorry. Am I making a scene? I don't care. I will stop when someone stops John and they set Lindsay free. OK, Lindsay right now is a suspect in a murder investigation. She is going to be questioned and then very possibly charged. And then, and only then, will she be up for bail consideration. It doesn't matter how you feel about your friend. But you cannot impeach John's ability to do his job. And if, if John likes Lindsay for this, then I do too. Oh, come on! Nora! This, this whole thing, I, I swear to you, this has nothing to do with John liking Lindsay for anything, okay? This has to do with him liking Marty Saybrook. How did you get so good at making me feel better? Maybe it's in my genes or chromosomes or something. In your genes, huh? Hey! What? You're the one who said it. You're the one who can't keep your head above waist level. Oh, come on. That's not true. You know I love everything about you. <laughs> Hi, 
Aunt Dorian, we weren't expecting you home so early. Please do not even try to pretend you two have been doing homework. We were actually trying to coordinate our courses for the fall. Oh, right, right. What's there to coordinate? You're a sophomore, and aren't you going to be a junior? How are the awards? Well, they went well. <laughs> um... I was, of course, passed over once again, but uh, all in all, I can say it was all to the good. Was there a scandal as usual? Sometimes, Star, I think you're wise beyond your years. So? Oh, come on. The 2007 Woman of the Year had a meltdown while making her speech. Then a few other things happened. Then she was handcuffed and taken to jail accused of having killed Spencer Truman. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me what I want. Then talk to me. Talk to me like, like you're Michael's brother, Tommy's uncle. He's right here. So is the cop. I don't need the cop. Well, look, I took an oath. I can't just check my badge at the door because family's involved. Yes, you can. It's called compassion. Mm. But in this line of work, a murder is still a murder. You can't hide behind your line of work. You... No, there's too much at stake on this one here. You want to talk about hiding? I mean, you really want to talk about hiding? Right now, there's a woman down in a holding cell who hasn't been able to see her son for weeks because of a crime she didn't commit. Marty never would have been convicted. Yeah. Does that justify the hell you're putting her through? I'm sorry she's had a rough couple of nights, but hell, no, hell is when a parent has a child ripped from their lives. Spencer Truman set Michael and Marcy up to feel that kind of pain. He put them in the line of fire and you're the one that's about to pull the trigger. You're talking in circles here. The bottom line is my brother's adopted son is still Todd Manning's kid. You feel better now? You want to shout it from the rooftops? No, I don't. It sucks. So how long have you known? John, if this gets out, it's going to destroy Michael and Marcy. For argument's sake, what about Manning? He never needs to know. You really think it's up to you to play God? No. Do you think it's up to you? All right, let's forget about God. I just want to know the truth from the beginning. But you already know the truth. And here we are going round and round. Clearly, you've known about Tommy. And what I want to know is... Why haven't you done something about it? John would never allow his personal life to enter into a case. John's personal life is the Spencer Truman case, Nora. All right, let me rephrase that. John would never allow his personal life to interfere with his ability to do his job. She's got a point. Michael, come on. We both know, we all know that John has this kind of a, this thing for Marty. Look. The woman confessed to killing Spencer Truman. Your department was building a case against her. Am I right? Yes, we were. Well, then doesn't it strike you odd, Nora, even if it's not illegal, that John pursued another suspect without anybody else here knowing long after the LPD closed the case? Okay, I can't stand here and debate the Well, then stand here and debate it with a lawyer, okay? Because I have one coming for Lindsay, and he is not some cheap public defender. Are you going to allow me to finish what I was going to say? I can't stand here and debate legalities with you when I don't know exactly what is going on, which is why I was on my way downstairs to find out. Until then, no one, not Lindsay, Marty, and apparently not you, is going home. So, if you will excuse me. Marcy. I really admire your commitment to Lindsay and she really has done some wonderful things lately. But that doesn't negate her past. She is a convicted felon. She has attempted murder and murder on her rap sheet. Just, just bear that in mind when you're going to bat for her, please. <laughs> 